Today's show is brought to you by Morgan & Morgan. If you want to stand up to the bullies like me and Wax, call Morgan & Morgan, the personal injury law firm that fights for the people, not for the powerful. They've recovered billions. That's a lot of money. Mm, billions yeah. of dollars. You got billions of dollars, Wax? I'm trying to get it. <laughs> so they've done that for thousands of people, and it's absolutely free to hire them unless you win. Nice. Visit ForThePeople.com forward slash bully for a free case review. Now back to our show. The bully and the Beast Podcast. Bully and the Beast Podcast. Yo. Wax it just put a cap full of Tito's in his Sprite. He's going to get drunk tonight. I'm drunk. This is going to be a drunk episode. And I said it, by the way, my name is Wax. And this is the Bully and the Beast. Can we, can we pour your poison? I'm L'Oreal. And I'll definitely pour my own poison. Because if you put a cap full of vodka in my cup, we going to fight. <laughs> I'm just saying. like, I'm going to be drunk as hell off this. I don't believe so. I like. I think you like to do it so you can act drunk. No, I really be drunk. Like I, got, I don't know if it's like... Uh, alcohol poison or something. <laughs> like, this shit really fucks me up. It, like, goes in my you system. You get alcohol poison from a cap of alcohol? Uh, nah, that probably ain't gonna do me dirty, but if I get maybe two caps of capsule food, I'll be really fucked up over here. It's like if it goes straight to my neck and my neck get, like, kind of weak. My neck. My back. And then my... it goes to my back. And you crack. <laughs> is, is the next word is crack? It don't go that far. <laughs> Praise God. Are you sure? No, I'm definitely sure. When's the last time happen. you licked some crack? Um. And I don't mean drugs. Um. How we get to here? Because you said my neck, my back, and your crack. So I said, when's the last time you? No, crack? it's my pussy. Oh, when's and the last like time? that. What's time? When's the last time you licked your your pussy? <laughs> <laughs> When's um, the last time you licked the crack? I want to know that. I asked you that. Answer the fucking question. Um, I don't know. Whatever the last time. Wax eats ass. <laughs> Wax eats ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> so Everybody eat on. ass. Everybody I, eat ass. You still cheating? No, nah, I'm not actually not cheating at all. Like I'm actually surprised. And every single day I get, I don't um cheat. It's like give me another. I can't mess up now. You know what I'm saying? That's like trying to build something up. You ever try to build something up, keep building something up, and then you just like, one thing will fuck up all them days that you did. So I don't want to be Oh my like, God, yes. Yes, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm, I can, came too far. I should have fucked up at like one or two, two days. And then it was like, once you get in a motherfucker over the 100 days, you over here like, oh shit. Wait, like, you're I'm over, like, a, how you get over 100 days and you just months. said- we you just got about? in a relationship like three months ago. Oh, you? No, were... it's been it's been a little minute. I've been chilling. Well, three months is still almost a hundred days anyway. I'm oh tripping. man, I'm drunk. <laughs> I'm drunk. Really? So Taylor, T Diddy, you believe him? Yeah, I've been chilling. I ain't been doing. I ain't really have a chance to do it. We've been spending all our time together. And but stuff I remember like just last time I seen you. Nope. You had some other girl texting you. What are you talking about? <laughs> Stop it! You trying to get me in trouble? <laughs> I don't know what I happened. Me, I got me a Spanish woman. I wasn't texting anybody. I don't even know what you're talking about. Thank you. And let's continue the show. Because <laughs> this is a great show and this needs to be talked about. We don't like to just stick on one thing. I will say that I'm proud of you. The only thing Thank I... Thank you. Like, I just hope that you're not lying because no, I I'm hate not, a not. liar. And I don't I'm like pretty... liars either. Gloria, I really don't like liars. And I, Listen, for what is worth... I don't even know if I'm using this in the right sentence, but what is worth? It sounds like something nice to say. Mm -hmm. um, what is worth? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm really doing good. Like I'm actually proud of myself, and I could only, and I could, I could, I could, I could do better. So that means we could call you. What do you mean you could do better? I could do better. Like that I'm, means I'm, you're I'm, still no, I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm not. I'm just saying I could, I could continue to keep doing more and more every day. I want to build and get better. Every day I want to get stronger in this. Okay, so you stick into your nickname this week. Waxy poo. Oh, so <laughs> I get a lot of those DMs. Unbelievable. Oh my God, so you many right? fucking guys do it. I'm like, yo, bro, you can't do that. Bro. People were like, so are are you and Waxy poo taking calls tonight? Chill oh. out. <laughs> 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 Not cool. All right, um, let's get into some voicemails because I'm excited to hear what the people have to yeah, say. It's dope. What's up, Bully and the Beast podcast? Um. I just wanted to get a little advice from you guys. 
I'm out here located in the, the West Valley of Arizona. Um, and currently I have a, I have an inter, inter, uh, racial relationship and, uh, me and the girl, we have a kid together and I just wanted to pick you guys' brain on like the differences of like, you know, disciplining the kid and the different like culture and thing like that. Um, like just what you guys' outtake would be on that, like. Just to give you a quick example before, you know, T. Diddy cut me off. Um, like, say my son does something where, like, he talks back or something like that. In a black household, we would immediately correct that, right? Um, but I think with and my girl's Hispanic, um, it's just a little different. So um, just wanted a little feedback on, on how you guys would handle that. Like, am I right to continue, you know, discipline my son on how I, I was raised? Or would you you guys think like uh you should flex to like you know how your your significant other is you know regardless of the race or culture so um big shout out to the to the podcast you guys are killing it i want to hear y'all on the brilliant idiots or some of the other podcasts that i really like that would be awesome keep killing it and, uh, all right buddy yeah. okay ass whoopings are universal it doesn't yeah. matter where you live Especially where Spanish you from you get your ass whooped if you fuck up like that's it. Unless you white, then you just get to call your mother a bitch and Ooh, slam doors and all shit. All that my room. <laughs> I fucking hate you, you bitch. I'm I'm fucking running away. I'm never coming back. I'm going to Uncle John's I house. I fucking who, hate you, who Melissa. Put his finger in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather go get my finger put in my ass than stay over here with you, mom. So I'm I'm half Spanish. Excuse me. <clears throat> you are. I'm half Spanish. You Spanish? Okay, you white. So, white people. <laughs> so, you, did your mom punish you different than your dad? Yes. For real? Absolutely. Take that, take that. No, I'm joking. Yeah. No, my dad was more. Uh, That's Angelo, the camera guy who always cheating on his girl, everybody. No, never that. Okay. Nah, he need a nickname. Yes. I don't like well, that. Y'all can figure that out. The yeah. cheater. No. No, that's not funny. That's not funny. <laughs> my mom would whoop my ass. My dad would just, uh, my dad didn't give a fuck, to be honest. My dad would just, what, oh, give me a verbal, give me a verbal scolding. Oh, really? Yeah. And I was, oh, so your dad the white guy? Yeah, my dad's white. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, your mom whooped that yeah, ass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm like. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay, yeah, I get yeah, it, yeah, I get mom, it. My mom's a sister, yeah. Okay, bless. Well, I feel like I feel like he okay. definitely should have a conversation with her. Like, listen, just talking to him ain't enough. We got, and not to say that the only way that you can discipline your child is by beating them. Because to be honest, mm -hmm. like when I was really, really young, yeah, I got whippings yeah. up until like maybe like nine. That was the last time I got to beat. Shit, I'm 36 and I and I'm motherfucking but. Just a couple of months, uh, last year or something, I just got my ass whooped by my mama. <laughs> but see, I'm respectful <laughs> to my mom. Yeah. Now, I might have did some bullshit at school, but like yeah. with my mom, like I ain't really talk back. And when I did, all she had to do was be like, uh, 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 and I, I'm like, oh, yeah, I ain't yeah, yeah, I got no time. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I want no problem. I think I'm drunk, by the way. <laughs> I don't got time for to be dealing with this all day, okay? <laughs> Yo, I think <laughs> I'm drunk. All right. Um, yeah, again. Um, it all depends on what you know you got. I mean, and I and I know if I if what I got. You know what I'm saying? If you know you got a monster, you got a beast who's gonna come up, you gotta have start showing him consequences early because you feel like in his life who he is is gonna have consequences, you gotta kinda tap them back in that place. Child abuse is different than discipline. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't understand that. It's a lot of people be over here like they're trying to put both of them in one. It's not the same thing. You know what I'm saying? I know I needed the beatings that I needed. Or whatever y'all want to call it. Yeah, don't kill um, your child. Yeah. I'm talking about like, just a little on. tap, a little. And I love my mom way more than I love the motherfuckers who just talk to me and be like, "No, you sit there, young man." I'm like, "Bitch, move." <laughs> don't call my mama though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. But I that also had that love. It, it's like it's like a love it's hate respect. type of thing. And it's that's like all a respect it is. you it's gain as well. And again, like I'm not saying, and like you said, we're not saying abuse your child. Of course not. But it's like a, a little spanking ain't never hurt nobody. Tap them back in the right in their right place, and they understand, they respect it. They they start being in line, and once you do it at certain times and stuff, a lot of my brothers and sisters probably only got one or two beatings their whole life. You know what I'm saying? They just didn't like it. They always stayed in line. Everything was peace. Me, 
I continue to can, can keep getting beatings. Like, always for my life. Like I said, like, literally, I promise you last year, I probably got hit with the belt. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know it for sure. Like, at Thanksgiving, I probably see my sisters probably put boogers on them or, or do something. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's, it's a lot of us. We just always played around. So. I, I do feel like you're inspiring a wave of bullshit. What you mean? Like, I was seeing mad shit on Twitter with people. You ain't see the, the white dude with the shit in the school? And he ran in a random school and was throwing, like, shit on the handles. I'm like, this nigga had to listen to the episode, bro. Had to. Like, it was just, like, something that you were saying you did in school. It's like the nigga went to a random school and did it. Nah, you please be in high school if you start to do things like that. And the thing is, what happened with me. He was grown. Yeah, you see, you can't do it. That's kind of corny, bro. You still do it. No, I only do it because I don't have to knock people out and put them in the hospital. Whatever. Doodle is better. All right, buddy. Yeah, I just feel like that's a tough one. You just need to talk to her. Yeah, I mean, try to make sure y'all are both on the same page because, again, if she's looking at it as child abuse, and you know what? A lot of people who sit there and look at what happened to them, and they'd be like, oh, that never happened to mine. And then any little thing they even look at is supposed to be like that, they're trying to make it seem like it's child abuse or something like that. So you got to see what happened to her in her life and be like, you know what? If he get out of hand, you're going to have to handle it then. Just tell her, you know what's worse than me beating him right now? Him getting his ass whooped in jail. Yes. By some other, by for, for some not having no discipline. And fucking put put a dick up his ass. Yep. What you want? You know what I'm saying? I guarantee you, he'd be like, "Yo, mommy and them, y'all discipline me. Y'all get me in line. Y'all get me in place." I know you. Yeah, y'all but that is me. crazy because I really didn't get no beatings, and I I was a good, a fairly decent kid. Boy, you know I, what I mean. So in a way, I kind of feel bad for saying. But if is that the way he wants to discipline him? Is that the only way? Like, cause to be honest, nowadays just taking a phone, or a TV, or or to change the password on some shit will devastate a child. Yeah, devastate him, but it's still change the password on the Wi Fi, and they can't use no no change the password on their phone. Yeah, but what, 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 what's the what's the consequences of that? They know that you don't that get your out. shit. I took my nieces, look, my niece tried to get sexy with me, huh? Yeah, okay. <laughs> she, she tried to get fly out the mouth, yeah, right? Nah, no, I took huh? everything. No, yeah. I took the laptop. She couldn't do no home. She had to write her <laughs> shit out. You know, kids now, they be yeah. typing all this shit. Mm-hmm. I was like, I don't give a fuck. No motherfucking homework then, bitch. You're not getting no iPad. This is what life is no going to teach you, sauce, though. No this is exactly sauce. how life is going to do you. And that's how we, exactly we, we all have to do ours. When mine get out of line or whatever the case may be, um, and my people's call me or whatever. I talk to them just like take everything from them. Listen, this is what happens in this situation. When you act good and good, good, great and stuff, everything got have something that comes with its territory. Yeah, and I was paying for the phone, so I was like, J- my phone. Yeah, like, the yeah. fuck you mean? Everything come with the territory. You get D's Kids and love F's. an iPad. A lot of things come with that territory. Guess what? You got to pay for your own cell phone bill. You got to get your own iPad. Yeah, you don't you think that's that bad enough shit. nowadays? I think that is. What's that? Like taking away their shit. Um, it all depends on what you have. You could take away a Lassie's ball and a Lassie gonna be like a little upset in the corner. You take away a fucking a pit bull's ball, he gonna look at you, you don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? He wanna go out there and run the streets and do some certain, certain other shit. Oh, so. like if he like a bad kid. Yeah, it's just he don't give a fuck if you take his laptop. He, he don't know what the fuck that is. He wanna go sell drugs and do some other shit anyway. He wanna fuck some bitches. Right. All right, so let's go to the next call, cause for real. Yeah, make sure you're on the same page though, bro, for real. Because that could get ugly. And yeah. you don't want to go to jail for child abuse. That's not good. Yeah, because she fuck around call the cops on that nigga. You go to child abuse and they're going to beat the shit out of you in jail. And yeah. you're going to get fucked. And then your son going to be laughing like, uh-huh, <laughs> I was going to get beat, nigga. <laughs> and you were just trying to do the right thing, though, as a father. Right. Because you know what your kid is because you know who you are. And, of course, you're not going to hurt him. Okay. Bless. All right, so my last message got cut off. But basically, we always butt heads about the comments and stuff that she gets on Instagram. Because if it's from people I know, we live in a small town. I feel like it's inappropriate or whatever. So she's been calling me insecure from day one. And she feels like all the likes and comments will help further her career, which, to be honest, it's never going to happen. But anyway, that's besides the point. So we don't talk for a couple of days after that. So I decided to go over her house on Sunday to see, you know, to talk things out and see what we're doing. When I get over there, it's another car parked outside, and I can see from the window that it's one of the guys always in her comments. Now, I don't forgive cheating. I don't condone cheating. 
But here's the catch, and Wax, I need you to be serious on this because I can't talk to nobody else about this. We have herpes, and I'm not sure how we got herpes because I was cheating in the beginning of our relationship, and she never questioned it, so I assumed she was too. And so now I'm kind of lost because I don't really know where to go from here because I have herpes, and I'm not trying to really move on and give that shit to other people, even though she clearly doesn't seem to care. And she doesn't believe in taking her medicine because she's kind of like spiritual and a conspiracy theorist about pharmaceutical companies. So let me know how I should move because I do still love her, but I don't condone cheating. But at the same time, who else am I going to be with? I got herpes. (laughs) But you know what I'm saying? Just let me know what you guys think and help me, please. Shout out to Diddy. Take that. She she trying to get you to take that fucking herpes. (laughs) T.T. Diddy, take that, take Is that. Is that NBA young boy? What's going on? <laughs> what the fuck? That was a big turn of events. You got to stay with her forever. Y'all, got, y'all both got the same shit. I wonder how that conversation went. You got herpes, me too, yay. Who gave it to who, though? But how did they even have the combo? How did they find out they had it together? One, one of the fucking listeners fucking called in and told them they, they got this shit. I mean, fucking her Instagram likers. No, okay. No, let's be real. Let's be serious for real. Yeah. That's what he said. Yeah, yeah. Let's try to be serious. You have herpes. Side. You got herpes, fam. Herpes is not a deadly disease. You sure? It's not. You won't die. Woo! AIDS and HIV, or what is it? AIDS. Yikes. Super guy. I'm so happy that I'm faithful. Give me that oh, I, I, think, I think she's the person that got made him have it. Because, like, she's already cheating already, and he's been not talking for three days. Like, she couldn't fucking wait three days. No, but here's the thing. She was already fucking with niggas when he left the first time. Yeah, she lied and talking about she was being faithful with it. Motherfucker. Well, let's be real. Let's start from there. Let's was she supposed to tell him about the, the other niggas that she fucked in between? None of his business. No, no, no. Yes. If I ask, and we supposed to be... I think that, again, I think love... I we think, wasn't together. Not I, the three-day shit. She tripping. Yeah, but I still think that if I ask you a question, if I know I'm about to enter something with you, I think that we're supposed to know about our bodies You're going to be pissed. No, I'm not talking nah. about the herpes thing. Mm. I'm talking about the cheating thing. I need to know how I mean, far she wasn't I'm cheating. Go. She was having sex with other people while they weren't together. I understand that, but I need to know if I'm going in this motherfucking raw. That's all he's supposed to really ask it. If I'm about to go in this raw, motherfucking raw, eat your ass and your pussy... Or I'm going to put a condom on they and already, not eat your pussy at all. But he knew that they both had herpes together already, so. Is he still eating it? She, He can do it when she doesn't have an outbreak. Her pussy will be regular if she doesn't have bumps on her pussy. So you can only get herpes if you have, have an, an outbreak. outbreak. Okay. Praise the Lord. So whenever she doesn't have an outbreak, she can have sex and not uh, infect anybody else. And so can he. So that's why I'm saying to him, you, your life is not over because you have herpes. It's something like one in three or one in four people. It's something like that. Or one in six. I know it's something that is not few and far between. It's a lot of people have herpes out there, sir. Protect yourself. Don't fuck nobody during an outbreak, but you can okay. most certainly move okay. on. But talk to that person. Without an outbreak. I thought I thought he was saying, like, she got herpes. Why she in there fucking this guy? She about to get him No, herpes. he's like, that bitch got herpes, and she, on here, she over here fucking around on me. We supposed to have it together and be together, and it said... But if she ain't got no outbreak, like... Maybe that fuck? nigga is the one that gave her the herpes, so they got herpes together, too. Mmm. Mm. You ain't think of that. Because you just got your car parked in somebody's driveway, not on the street. That's kind of like I did this. They also said it's small town, so maybe it ain't no. You know how even, they don't got that's sidewalks. That's even more of a small town. I'm definitely ain't going in the driveway because everybody know I'm going in. Nah, there. but some of them, some, them um, small towns don't have sidewalks. It's like you know what I mean, like dirt roads Park or gravel. Or, like, I, I creeped on plenty small roads. Believe me, my car is parked down there. Where I live in in Georgia, there's no sidewalk nowhere over yeah. there. No, there's nowhere you're going to drive and even mm-hmm. find oh, it. I know, I know all about Well, it. you know, anywhere down south. So yeah. where do you think you put in your car? It looked more obvious being out in the street. You know now, you should have put it in a garage. You should have put it in a motherfucking yeah, garage. somewhere in the backyard or something. You got plenty of land somewhere right down the street. No, but I'm glad it was outside so your goofy ass ain't go walking up them stairs <laughs> yes. and get your ass beat. <laughs> or see her give a head. Nigga have a lump <laughs> on his dick and his head. And uh, his eye. <laughs> <laughs> Lumps. <laughs> did, did he ask us to be serious? Uh, I did. I said. You try to be serious. With I you, said bro. he could find someone else. Herps. 
Herps. This is what we're going to tell you, Herps. This is a mess. Don't do that. I, come on. Don't do that because we. I want. I don't want people to think we judgy. I'm not judging him. He got. You call him Herps. That's kind of mean. I forgot his name. You know his name. If you oh real quick, be quiet. If you know his name, I won't call him Herps. I'll call him by his name. Not just call him sound like Old Town Road. He live in the country. I get it, but what's his name? Real quick. Herps. <laughs> 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 listen, Herbs. Only reason I call you Herbs because I forgot your name. You know what I'm saying? But listen, your girl is a hoe. <laughs> you want me to lie to over tell the truth? Now, what if you he gave truth? her herpes? All right. But she's already three days, already got another guy over there. Yo, come on, man. He's a photographer. Oh, the other guy? I don't know. He said he's trying to jumpstart her career. I figure it's Instagram mm, model. You don't know, really don't know how he's over. Is the guy gay? Mmm. Good excuse. Yeah. Try that one time. All right. He's gay. What do you mean? That's how you keep you leaving heart eyes. Mm. Only gay guys leave heart eyes. I never use a heart eye. I never ever ever use a heart eye before. Okay. I don't even LOL. <laughs> I don't. La- Cause laugh is gay too. <laughs> 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 what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I see too many girls do it. So, so I said, okay, oh, I'm not LOL either, man. Okay, fuck so his that. girl's a hoe, and that's all you got the advice for him? Yeah, because, I mean, the fuck? She gonna continue to keep fucking? You gonna have to move on and go fuck one of her girls. And give her herpes, too? But oh, you if, said, well, well, he don't have an I so, Oh, so even with the guy, if the guy don't have an outbreak... Um, it's the same thing. Oh, okay, peace. But I you still, still want to protect girls. yourself, like... Cause yeah. it's not a hundred... I mean, that's what they say. They say if you got a bump, don't fuck or whatever. If you got an outbreak or whatever, yeah. maybe you don't have a bump if you have an outbreak. I yeah. don't know. But don't do it. If you yeah. got something messed up down there, don't do it. But that's, you Just know. Like, yeah, girls always act like you're in your period. You ain't nobody gonna fuck But you, you definitely don't have to be stuck with a person just because you have a sexually transmitted disease. That's kind of just... like we gotta marry each other. Like, we both fucked up. Well, we really I mean, ain't supposed to be out there, like, infecting anybody else. Honestly, I would feel like that, too. <laughs> I'd be like, fuck it, we stuck together we now, stuck motherfucker. Now. Or I'm gonna kill you and I'm just gonna be by myself forever. Or I'm gonna tell everybody. But then everybody gonna know you got herpes. Mm-hmm. Girls that still want to fuck you because, like, I, I got to keep going back to, I can't believe NBA Youngboy got all these little girls. He got little girls pregnant. He a little boy himself, but he and he has herpes, and they've come out and said it. Now they're saying this other girl burned him, too. But I'm just like, girls are still after him. They're getting his name tatted, his face tatted, his uh, everything. Girls that got shot over this kid, yeah. and he has herpes. So I'm what I'm saying is... Wow. There's still a chance for him, Mr. Herp, to find Herps. Herps to find someone else that's not her. If she's being unfaithful to you and But you can't really nobody gonna really like after I'm gonna keep it real with you, fam. Like if you try to go into another relationship and you have cause you and you have to tell the other person that you got herpes. You have to. Yeah. You don't wanna tell anybody. Every yeah, time you wanna tell him she I don't know if she's gonna stick around. Like if she, she loves could, you, if, if that's that's like buying a a, a a hoopty car that you know got engine problems, gonna break down every week, and then instead of buying this car over here, and they both they both cost the same amount. Well, wax, they have a medicine, and I believe it. <clears throat> excuse me, I believe it's called Pep or Prep, Prep, mm-hmm. and it's for. Um, so basically, you take it so that if you're sleeping with somebody that has HIV, Jesus, you won't catch it. So a lot of people and couples where the man or the woman may have HIV, their partner takes this pill Uh and they won't catch it. But they'll still be with the person because they won't get it themselves. So there are some people out there that are understanding and Mm. that are because there wouldn't be medicine like this on the market. Right. Yeah. yeah. Because one person has it and the other one doesn't. So I would just say that. um Man, somebody's really gonna have to love you and accept what love. what it is that you're bringing to the table. <laughs> love, I'm talking about the music soul child with the sleepy eye love. <laughs> that love. <laughs> yeah, but I, and I don't think you should just settle for getting treated any kind of way just because because you don't never know. Look, 
Nah, you're fucked up. Especially, that, you listen, if you one who burnt or made the person have herpes, you get treated any way you, you want Okay, to. but listen to Fuck this. Fuck you every day. What if she's the one that burns him? Now, what you waiting to come to you, motherfucking HIV nigga? <laughs> yeah, word up. What you, you got, waiting for? Got a nasty one, bro. So, this is what I'm saying. If she's doing all this shit out there, you might have to move on, bro. Yeah, move on, but you can't, you know, you gotta know when you move on, you gotta find somebody else with herpes. Like, you can't just get no regular girl because you might not see the bump coming. It might come tomorrow. You might have sex tonight, and she might get it because it was just coming and whatever. I don't know how this shit works, but you got to find somebody else with herpes or gonorrhea or something. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> All right, my foot brother. I, I, I thought Sorry. I was going to help you with that one. No, yeah. don't listen to that. Yeah. Uh, Why didn't he knock on the door? Yeah, he, he should have seen the other guy getting head. I rather him seeing that. Then he wouldn't have had a call. So if you pull up on your girlfriend and you see through the... First of all, he was looking in the window. That's creepy. S- sucker. Did y'all not hear that part? I was looking in the window and I, I noticed the guy. He was one of her fucking light guys. Like, How do you notice that you was looking, looking? You done you walked looking, up to the looking. window, nigga. Your heart was beating like... You saw you <laughs> on uh, uh, Netflix? <laughs> we talked about that, right? You? Yes. I, that was him. That I nigga walked it. up in the crib. Didn't that you say was, that before? I just I never seen it. Y'all don't think that that's crazy that he knew it was one of the niggas that was liking shit on her page? Yeah, but these dudes really be going on like, like listen. I ain't gonna lie though. Somebody gave me herpes. I'm in the bushes, nigga, on they ass. I'm everything. Yeah. Cause <laughs> what the fuck? I but what, what would you say? But what would you say? Like say it was a table's a turn. Like would you or just when a girl when a guy come out when a girl come out the house, you and be like, and he got herpes. Like you would you tell a girl that the guy got she herpes? She like, so what? So do we both do? I gave it to her. Woo! Then do you fight her for giving it to you? You beat that bitch down to the motherfucking <laughs> ground. You hear me? Stomp in the face. Cause yeah. that shit that she killed you. Yeah, you, you fucked you up. I'm saying I know in Oriel over there talk about it's really nothing. It's, it's just like having a booger in your I nose. I mean, I'm trying to be like, honest. No, there's that there's some people that up. only get like this on their mouth. You didn't never see yeah. this shit. Yeah, like and a it'd be cold like sore. a big ass sore. Thing. Lord. But sometimes people get it there and they don't get it there. Yeah. Can you get herpes in your butt? I have no idea. <laughs> people could get herpes in their eye. I heard, I heard, I, I heard. You could get I, herpes I in the eye. No. I, Can you please Google if you could get herpes in the butt? Damn. I want to know. But um, no, because realistically, you have to. You don't hand. want nobody to. You don't want nobody to to feel like, oh, I have this, so I gotta kill myself because I'm nobody's ever gonna find. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. That's nah, not. Nah. You it, get it, what I'm saying? You, you could definitely live. Like L'Oreal is right. I'm just being that fucking asshole. Um, you could get herpes in the butt. Show pictures. No. Imagine if you're trying to take a poo poo and you got a herpes in the butt. Ew, I don't want to see this picture. Jesus. Let me see. Lord have mercy. Okay, I'm a, can I admit something to y'all? Oh. You sure? <laughs> I started watching um, porn the other day that had transgenders okay. in it. Mm -hmm. And it's like I stumbled upon it, you know, because I like to watch. I've talked about this before, but I like to watch when the bitch has like three dicks in the ass because I think it's like, how did she get there? Like, you know, what I mean? like I can't barely take a finger. So she for her to have like three dicks just rammed. No, it's actually interesting to me. It doesn't even turn you me on. You want to see somebody have pain. I don't know. It doesn't even really turn me so on. So a, a, a picture of L'Oreal like, ah, I'm coming off three meets in the ass. Oh, no, but that doesn't, it's crazy because it yeah. doesn't make me want to, like, play with myself or nothing. Yeah. It just makes me be like, wow, this is fascinating. Like, like Benny Hill. You don't think it's fascinating? No, I don't like that. How can it fit three dicks? I don't understand. So, okay. Hmm. So, um, that's what made me think of it because I'm like, oh, okay, it's inserting. So, I'm like, can you get herp in the butt? But now, um, but yeah, you should try watching transgender porn. No, nah, I'm okay. I'd rather watch Benny Hill. What's that? Benny Hill, like, back in the day. What's Benny Hill. Benny Hill back in the day. What's that? It's a show that we used to watch back in the day. I think it's, like, soft porn when you marry with kids. And that's why I guess What that. channel did it come on? Um, it was a VCR I ain't, ain't going to lie to you. My dad used to watch Benny Hill and stuff like that. Like, Yo, like, your like, dad like a, is a pervert. Stop. Man, my dad is a, per, is a pastor in the church. Why is he always watching porn? Did I just say that out loud again? <laughs> 
Yo, your dad I'm don't drunk. do nothing else but watch porn. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Everything with a P. Yeah. Don't say that. <laughs> What's wrong with all the... Because he does everything with a P. No, Pussy, it's not. Stop penis, it. preachers. No. <laughs> Stop. So do you All right, just, not everything with Okay, the, yeah, the preacher watches porn. It's no, fine. it's not. See, if you watch Benny Hill, Benny Hill just like a guy who just walk around, like, lift on this girl's skirt. Benny like, Hill just sounds like another preacher as well. And it's like, <laughs> <laughs> this is all scary and Benny weird. Hill is just, we, we used to watch Benny Hill, Ralph Crandon, and, and um, Ralph Crandon, Star Trek. From the Honeymooners? Honeymooners, Ralph Crandon. You was jerking off watching the Honeymooners? What are you talking about? You said Benny Hill. No, you Benny and Hill. And Ralph Crandon. Why no. are you putting them together? I used to watch these shows with my pop when I was really young. This is shows he used to watch. I used oh, to sit so there porno, and watch honeymooners, and Star Trek. No, it used to be Benny Hill's not a porn. It's like just a guy. He just you you know y'all look up Benny Hill, man. Yeah, that's all it is. He's like a real funny guy. And um, then we used to watch uh, Honeymooners, and then right after that, Star Trek, come on. Honeymooners, the, um, Ralph Crandon reminds me of my dad. Ralph Crandon. He looks just like him, but yeah? my dad has green eyes. Yeah. Wow. He looked like stomach and everything. Wow. The when bus he driver. Younger. Yeah, he used to drive a bus when he got older yeah. and everything. My, my dad drives so buses weird. now. Yeah. It's for the so, school. It's so crazy. How you, Benny I, and, and, and the crazy part about it, I'm like, Dad, do the kids even know? I never heard of this nigga Benny Hill before. Yeah. You're a weirdo. I'm like, do the kids even know that you're my dad? Like, they, I know they be killing the bus driver because I used to do mad shit to the bus driver. He was like, do the kids even know you watch porn all day? <laughs> and Honeymooners and Benny Hill? Stop. <laughs> You're a trekkie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what if he was boom, like, said, I got boomerang. something to tell you. Me and your mom both got herpes. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Is it Jesus? What if he told you that Jesus. one day? Jesus. Would you cry? I'm not listening to you okay. talk about the pastors of the church. You were talking about he was watching porn. I just I might said, have wanted to step I said up. Benny Hill is like soft porn now. Now I look at it when I was young. So you was jerking off to this old I white man. I never jerked off to this guy. <laughs> so it was just why like, is it porn? It's soft porn because he like looked on this girl's skirts and like little do little pervert things. And we like oh, laugh. Yeah, that's all it is. Donald Trump. Uh, all right. Easily. Boom. So let's talk about the whole Little Fizz, April, Amorian thing. Mm-hmm. So um, we know that Amorian finally came out and said that, you know, it doesn't really bother him. I think it's a lie. That Little Fizz is dating his baby mama because, uh-huh. you know, he just doesn't want anything to affect her, which in terms of affects, affects his kids, kid. which in terms affects him. How many kids you got with her? But then he did a tour. Hold on. Two. Two. But then he did a tour, which they did again uh, together last year, mm. and, and took those motherfuckers off just because Sounds Little Fizz right. was part of it. So so other ones caught straight bullets because of Fizz wanted not know where to put his penis. Right. Bro. True. And then April said that Fizz helped her get through depression after her relationship. Let me tell you something. One time I had a really... Get a therapist. I don't want to get too specific because, like, I don't. But I had a situation. It was, like, a devastating, heartbreaking situation. And uh, it was someone I was dating. Something happened, whatever. Mm. And afterwards, his friend kept attaching himself to me. Yeah, right? I hate that shit. He kept attaching himself to me. And then one day, he was just like, you know, I got to tell you, I'm just in love with you. Like, he never tried like never tried to touch me, never nothing. He just would always come around me. He said, I have to tell I'm in love with you. And then he started telling me all this dirt on the guy that, you know. Um, Suck ass nigga. Right. And then was try- he on drugs? I don't know what the fuck he was on. Yeah, I wasn't even be. thinking about number that. Number one, he said he in love with you. I know something wrong with him. Shut the fuck up, no bitch. Doubt. So then, um, so basically, I, me at that moment, I was like, mm. first of all, get the fuck away from me. Right. Fuck Get you. the fuck away from me. And don't ever talk to me again. You're a clown. Because at first I'm like, oh, he's trying to be around to make sure I'm good. Because like I said, it was a situation I whatever. Plus, trying to make sure yes. I'm good. Cool. That's one thing. Mm-hmm. But now you're moving in, not moving in my house, but moving in on me. And I started to feel did, like. Did, did he ever try to kiss? That was when, it was like, to me, that was when that moment was. He thought yeah. it was going to be like, oh, my God, you know, I feel the same about you. 
<laughs> Actually, okay, what it was was the, the guy I was dating passed away. Peace. And um, this was his friend. Yeah. And I'm thinking, because I was fucked up. Yeah, bless. So I'm thinking, uh, you know, a lot of people tried to help me through that motherfucking yeah, shit. Because there was other things that happened after, where after he passed away that I found out. But he was the main person that told me. Yeah. That even led me to find out what was going on mm-hmm. behind my back or whatever mm-hmm. the case. Hornet. And me, I looked at him like, you a fucking clown. Yes, like you're supposed you supposed to. You a fucking clown. You, clown you get what I'm fan. saying? You're clowning fan. So while she's crying, you moving in. Clowning And I'm fan. like, you a clown. But clowning that's fan. not what she did. She embraced it. But now, they the clown. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that. I don't know how you feel about that situation. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I don't well, like it at so, all. So if one of your boys was to come to you, and this is a perfect example because you really Please. don't fuck with your baby mom. Yeah. And he comes to you, and it's your friend, friend. Like, yeah. I'm talking about your man, man. Yo, dog. And he's like, yo, you know, just mm. want to let you know, me and your baby mama, we, we in love now. I, I, I clown him. I clown him. I'm like, how did that even happen? That's my son's mom. And this is somebody that was around, day. y'all. It's my son's mom at the end of the day. So I got to protect him, do whatever I have to do, because that's my, that's his mom. That's his mom. That's what he said. He's a clown. That's what he's. That's some clown ass shit, though. That's some clown like. ass shit. Mm-hmm. Why would you have to make me I'm, now? If anything happens, I gotta come beat the shit out of you. Right? Because either way, you already you probably want to beat way. the shit out of him. Now, yeah. Now, anything you do, do I really want to beat the shit out of you anyway? And it's not even about you wanting to be with her. It's disrespectful. Yeah, it's really disrespectful. Like so, bro. That's you're putting my... your meat in my kid's mom's mouth. And he was up. already calling you uncle whatever because yeah, he bro. thought he was your friend. That's some slide. So now shit. your kid even know you a herb. Yeah, you're a clown. <laughs> and I don't even care. And I don't even care who my baby mom big dates and nothing like that. It's just like it can't be your ass. Okay, you gotta get out the way. What are you doing? You you smashing my kid's mom. <laughs> and it's like a nigga you confided in, not like that, but you know what I mean. Like yeah, he knew everything y'all went through. That's too close. Ain't no like somebody I knew you. I got to get money together for years. Y'all like. Come on, fam. Like, that's not cool. I can't believe he You think did he this. danced better than him? That's why? <laughs> Amorian danced way better than Fitz. That's why I think he did. <laughs> because he got to have something on him. Okay, and I'll give you that. Because no the whole career, Amorian was a star. Okay. He left them, went solo. Mm-hmm. All that shit. He was making money. Fizz and them was poor in the hood. Mm. So that's why he like, I got something of his that he really loved and wanted. And that's the only reason why you'll do some envious shit like that. That's some envious, clown-ass, whack-ass shit. Nigga, I feel like I would feel better if they didn't have kids together. Oh, and that even hurt even more. Oh, right now, they had you know, kids together. I'd be like, ah, oh, shut up, Amari. Yeah, it is what yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, come on. Oh, well, like, he took your bitch. Now y'all both have to have ties. You know you got to come over and see the kids. Your bitch ass going to be there. What if he got you know to call saying? What if he gotta call him to pick up his kids? Woo! <laughs> Woo! You better be dancing, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you better put on a dance for me, baby. Because we about to rock. The word is born. I'm going to beat you up just because. I would you can't dance better than I'm me, not going to lie. That would be one of the moments I'd be like, let me tell you something. That man has nothing to do with me. If you not dropping the kids off, then, then I born. ain't seeing the kids. Yo, don't, have, don't have no tension with that. You know Don't what have that cool nigga, but yeah. And, don't, and do not be on some... You're insecure. That dumbass fucking word. I want girls to understand exactly what insecure is. Yo, he knows all his dirt, too. That's just even crazy. Clown ass shit. Amarion, hold your head up, my brother, because I know the baby's there. I know you want to hit both of their asses up because they kind of need to get beat the fuck up. But at the end of the day... Act like you don't know nothing. And that's yeah, the only girl Amorian has ever publicly dated. And that's why this guy did it. I finally got something better than this guy. Because Fizz has fucked with several bitches on this show. Yeah, I'm sure he could probably get girls. Like, they, these guys are icons. Amorian these guys has are, you never know come up. Wait, he had one other girlfriend that was famous, right? Who was it? Let me see. I remember back in the day, it was a long time ago. No, no, people like, mind your business. No, I never did that. I would, and I would never do that. That's some clown ass shit right there, yo. I don't know, but that is corny. I don't know. Nah, y'all got money together for years. So, we, we talking about, I thought y'all was like brotherhoods right here. You know what I'm saying? Right. But Amorian also said that he was unbothered. And, um, Fly. 
the internet went crazy after he announced that they weren't going to be uh, B2K wasn't going to be on the Millennium Tour, the new one. and that That's why he's not bothered because uh, I can Yeah, I'm going hand. to get money and you're going to be broke. Yeah. Good luck with your little ass loving hip hop checks that are nothing. Yep. And um, all over this. But period. Because you was getting mad money on tour. Believe that. Like, she's a pretty girl, though. She is pretty, but she's crazy. Like, she got to be really crazy. She's crazy. Listen, so. any guys, miss, why are you going to leave this cheater for this cheater? Like, what did he do that do you think this guy going to do? She told you she was, he was confiding. She was uh, right by his side. Uh, I can't even talk. He was by her side rubbing her back and pulling her hair back when she was crying ah, and all kind of shit. He was, he was cuddling her when the Morion, when that ice box where her heart used to be, he was over there cuddling in that shit. You know what it is? Uh, Mario probably was in a dance studio too long working on his fucking skills and this Mr. Curly Head probably was taking a motherfucking blue chew. And I bet you, I know, blue chew will always make you, t- I could get anybody girl with blue chew. He look like he needs some blue chips. That too. nine hour meat, I could take all oh, y'all. Yeah, I could take anybody girl with that fucking shit. You little fizz with it. <laughs> <laughs> you got a little fizz on that blue chip. I got to. Motherfucking fizzle. Mr. Fizzy, curly head, busy, was over here <laughs> fucking with that blue chew and got this guy girl, y'all. Okay. And, um, you know, increase your, increase your enhancement and, um, do all that good shit, man. So y'all need to get a motherfucking blue chew. You know what I'm saying? It come in discreet package. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to do no doctor visits. It's better than that fucking Cialis and that fucking um, that Viagra, Viagra shit. Hell yeah. And I never even took none of them shits, but that blue chew, when I told I got that nine hour meat, man, all my boys be asking me for that shit now. So I actually do need some more of them shits where y'all got them for me. <laughs> and it's easy for, when I get mine. <laughs> that sounds so crazy. What? All your boys ask you to take they, the blue they want They want the blue chew because they be sitting there having nine hour meet with their girls. What are you talking about? Oh, okay. I'm, listen, we building relationships out here. <laughs> Doing the beast, blue chew is building up relationships. Got these girls out here. They having great sex with their man. Nine hour meet, picture that. If your man ain't having a nine hour meet, come over here, hit him up. It's a great Christmas gift. Y'all should even, this, should, this is so good, you should have it for Thanksgiving. How much is it? It's, it's shit, it's shit free. All you gotta do is pay the um, $5 shipment and um, hit, put our promo code in. Uh, put in blue2.com. Our promo code is bully and you get it, try it for free. Come holla at me if you want nine hour meat. And that shit ain't really getting up. This right here, I guess it just pumped the blood and do something in that motherfucker. But yeah, come holla at us, man. You know what I'm saying? Get a, um, get a, I don't, we just want you to visit the bluechew.com and get your first shipment free when you use the promo code bully. That's B-L-U-E, chew.com and use the promo code bully and get it free. They said it three times. All right, back to the show. Hot. All right, man. You know what I'm talking about? I like paying bills and all that, saying the offer time and all that shit. But what do we got going on, man? Savage news. What we got, man? You know what you forgot to do? And we're going to do it in the middle of the motherfucking show. Talk to me. You got to tell them what number to dial if they want to leave a oh, motherfucking voicemail. Oh, man, voice damn, now. man. 347-679-6118. Holla at us, man. Yo, please. We love these fucking voicemails. Yeah, it's kind of funny, man. It's kind of good. <laughs> and you know, we like you to be very detailed. Yes. Like I, like the glass guy just had herpes. Like, we are not mad at these voicemails and shit like that. You know what I mean? So keep them coming. They dope. Okay, so a North Carolina man... Got tired of dating apps. He felt that he was not featured prominently and that there was too much competition for him to find one. So he oh. decided to make his own app. Okay. And he called it Singularity. For single people. No, it's only for him. So, well, it's for all women, but he was the only man. This is dope. You can, we can do available. this. Available. He's 31 years old. This guy's smart. I wish I was that smart. Guess what his name is? Wax. Yeah, how'd you know? No. What is it? Aaron Smith. He's a Smith. (laughs) Party out family. What? What's his name? Aaron, nigga, what the fuck? I just said it. 
So, <laughs> so, so, Wax, if you want to date him, it's called Singular. You could download it. All right. Um, do you think it's creative or creepy? <laughs> this is so crazy. <laughs> All right. Listen, I think this guy, because right now I can't get on no dating sites because I'm not single anymore. Um, but it's you like. You can get on it as a joke. Then sign me up. No, I'm joking. Yeah, I'm joking. <laughs> that too. was the joke. That so. was a joke. <laughs> I'm listening. Um, yeah. Um, like I can't do it no more. But that's really, really clever, man. When I would sit there single, I would love for somebody even to set that up for me. That's that's kind of dope, right? You don't think so? You like, like it's it, that's just like it's I too heard, late. You know, but I wish we would have thought of it before you had a girlfriend. That's what I'm saying. I would have been dope. But you know what? I seen I seen Drake and Trey songs in the, uh, in in the party on with Tinder. Like, no, on a, in a party <laughs> with like thirty girls. I uh, think, I, I typical. Think I, I'm just saying that was just it was just them two with like mad girls somebody birthday party right did y'all see that it was Drake's birthday party or Trey Song's birthday party one of them and it was just them two with a bunch of girls that that, that was it was no other guy Trey there. Song's just had his birthday so, so it might have been yeah. yeah just him and Drake and that was dope that's what I'm saying like damn so this is what this guy did was just him and all the girls around him and they they get they get to just smash him I mean I don't see anything wrong with it is this the guy. But he's so fucking goofy. Listen, girls like goofy pussy. He has a fake parrot on his shoulder. Oh, it is fake? Let me see that. Girls like guys with fake parrots. Everybody got a reason to go um, get some dick. All right, where's the fucking girls wrap like up him. of this shit? Did the nigga find any pussy or what? Nah, let's see. Let me, let me no. see. No, the, the nigga's still a virgin. What's his name? Smith was quoted saying, let me see his name. Aaron fucking Smith, my nigga. I what told you it mad time. What the fuck is the fuck going is on? With this guy. I told, it says Aaron on every fucking picture. This guy's a fucking dickhead. He's 32. Fuck is what going on. What does gainfully employed mean? What does gainfully employed mean? Like I'm fooling you. He makes you. a lot of money. I'm I'm fully you employed. Let's go, I need to know what the fuck that means. I'm gaming you. Game? No, that's I mean, game. game. I said gain, but then you got me saying fucking game because you said I'm gaming you. Oh, uh, game. Oh, so he's trying to gain and make more money. I, I think that. that means like he's making a lot of money. It's any way to get pussy, man. You know what I'm saying? Nah, that's a trick. He used it as a fucking trick. He's trying to get pussy. Everything we say to y'all is a trick to get pussy. I I said, let me just rub the head listen on it. Listen to this. Listen to this. <laughs> you know what that listen means. Listen to the definition. Let me hear it. It says, in broad language, gainful employment refers to an employment situation where the employee receives steady work and payment from the employer. That's just a fucking regular job. <laughs> <laughs> listen. <laughs> Hilarious. Nigga figured out a way how to say job that made it sound sophisticated Listen, and rich. And girls gonna give him some pussy because of that. Hell no. All this shit is all a fucking game. We just trying to get some pussy. Gloria, what's the craziest line you heard? I know you heard. I'm like, gamefully employed, nigga. No, that's no. <laughs> Like I'm making a lot of money, and I'm, that's I'm, not what it means. I'm just saying, like a guy that actually got you, like, and you like, damn, I fell for that dumb shit. Because I'll be, I'll be like, let me just put the head, and I just want to run, run the head on it, and then next oh, thing you know, oh. we fucking. Nah, to me, that's the equivalent, equivalent of let me just eat it. I just want to eat it. Cause then after I come, I'm like, oh fuck it, let's just fuck. Cause you, yeah, you already, you already seen my pussy, and now I want to fuck because I just came. Like if I come from the in the outside, I want to come from the inside too. Oh, what you talking about? Like my clit. Like if I come from my clit, I want to come from the inside too. Hold so on, that's two why ways I don't like to come. To ma- masturbate for real. So, yeah. So you come in the inside and you come from the outside. Like you could come in your asshole or you could come out your dick. Same thing. <laughs> Yo, you got to be fucking kidding me. You yo. come two ways, too. Come on, stop it, man. Is this real, yo? We come three ways. Is she just the only motherfucker that do this, yo? Yeah, I'm an alien. I come twice, different kind of y'all ways. Got, y'all be coming inside and outside? So yeah. hold on. So only your click comes. <laughs> yeah, my... Yo, for real. My click help me, sport. help me out. If just your click comes and then, like, the inside comes or it all comes to one place... I don't 
don't fucking know. Clearly. Okay, so inside, outside, coming. Come on. All right. Black excellence. Dope. <laughs> So a lot of people tell me that they love black excellence. Like people come up to it. me all the time. I love it. And they express that and we love it as well. Oh, so yeah. Rihanna just made musical history. So she became the first black woman to be on Bill the Billboard 200 chart for more than 200 weeks. Nice. So the record is from Anti. Is it Anti or Anti? You know I never... See, <laughs> that's why. That's I don't know what Auntie it is. Auntie Mama. Saying. I think it's Auntie, right? Okay. Auntie Mama. And um, so the album is multi platinum. That's my favorite album from her. Down to the first fucking song, which with SZA, is a consideration. Uh, which song is the one? No, oh, it says it's the longest album. Da-da-da-da. I like her song Renegade. Yeah, no, it's for her album, Auntie. So it's the one with Needed Me on it. It has um, Sex With Me. It has, what am I Damn, I don't know. What's the big song? I think Needed Me was. Let me hear it. Needed Me. Let me hear it. Didn't I tell you that I was a savage? Fuck a bitch. Come on. Huh? Work, 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 work. I know work. Work, 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 work. But you know needed me. I was in the way it was. I know that song. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I know this song. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I love this song. Must so she only had one album? How many albums she had? This is the motherfucking album that was the longest charted. But how many albums she ever had? I was going to know it. That's the way it was. I ain't know we get ads from Rihanna. She just made history. This is black excellence. It is. Shut the fuck up. Oh, right, go right. Rihanna. Nigga, get up and twerk. She got a mother. Huh? (laughs) Shit. Bust it down, Waxiana. Bust it down, Waxiana. I'm in a relationship. I can't do nothing else. You can bust it down. Nope. I don't want to hear nothing. What happened? Yes. Hey, listen, what, whatever happened to your motherfucking um, when your girl called up, man? <laughs> How you didn't tell us? Do you remember that? Yeah. Wait, did you go see the, the girl that's on drugs? Yeah, we saw my ex-girlfriend. Wow. Yeah, Who's ready. on drugs? She actually wanted to do it while I was in South Carolina. I was like, go ahead, meet without me. Yeah. Fine, I told you no. I told they you not to. scheduled it, and they waited for me. And I guess they, they talked behind my back. And a then, little um, bit, of course. And my girl was like, hey, can you want to meet, meet up and get food? And then I pulled up to my girl. We were at a park. And then she yes. was like, oh, yeah, your ex is coming, by the way. <laughs> Woo! I, just, I, just, I had just gotten out of church. Nice. And um, so I was, I was calm. So I was you ready. was praying on your way. I was, yes. I, I felt saved. In the already. name of Jesus. <laughs> yes. They can't do me too bad. bad. I just prayed. Them niggas, them bitches jumped you. Well, no, imagine. No, <laughs> um, my, ex, my ex pulled up. And, nice. Um, yeah, we just had, we she talked and she just like I don't know it was it was weird it was white people shit. Listen, this was white. Guess what else? <laughs> guess what else? Are we see you fucking white guy. What? Wait, 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 hey! wait, 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 wait! Don't press nothing yet. What? what did y'all talk about in the park? Uh, she was just like sorry for shit that she did, but we did it five years ago. I was like, she was talking about stuff that she was apologizing for that. Yeah, like, oh, she's, like, no, she's trying to see if y'all can have a throuple. And your girlfriend was okay with this? <laughs> yeah, well, she like pulled. Then, then my girl was next. Like she had to pull up aside like a job interview. And then she talked to me. Then she talked to my girl. I didn't ask what she asked to my girl because whatever. I dated her for two years. Like it was crazy. I didn't do it. Like I don't know who's on drugs. I was, okay. I, I, was. Okay. Well, you want to see who's on well, drugs? Have a seat. You want to see who's on drugs? Because I'm surprised too. I was told that I was gonna be surprised. Let's go, baby. <laughs> oh, it's video. Watch this amazing masterpiece of a guy. Okay. What do we have? I'm scared. Woo! Yo. <laughs> I thought the video was funny. <laughs> Do y'all know this guy was a comedian? Let me see. Okay, we can shut this off now. <laughs> I got bullied a lot in high school for being biracial. They call me things like half breed, gray. <laughs> This guy is actually funny. Now she's the teachers. Why am I in give me, shock? Give me, give me some. Give me some, man. Oh, they only call me half breed. 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 Half breed.
Nah, like afterwards. a couple years ago, I tried to start doing stand-up comedy. You know, because I'm black and I act white. Even my friends. It's all he had. His whole, his whole act. <laughs> Even my friends. I talk to my friend's house. All right, guys, keep an eye on Angela. Make sure he doesn't steal anything. He's half black. Oh, that was before. Hold on, hold on. Oh, you racist! Oh! 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 Go back. Go back. Go back to the toilet. Go back. 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 Why does wax want to see me around? That's crazy. <laughs> Wax do like your butt. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's all see right, the move. Baby. Come on, yeah, come on, nah, come on. Right. I, that was years ago. I'm old now. I can't move like that. I want to yeah. see those moves. Yeah. I this, didn't know you was a motherfucking comedian. No, yeah, this like is a five, fun. six years ago. This I, uh, is great, man. Why did you stop? Because I wasn't funny. <laughs> <laughs> A police a lot, a lot of actually people are really not funny, and they keep on trying. So I'm happy that you did learn, right. and you're doing your thing right now. We appreciate you being our camera man. But stop cheating on your fucking girl. I don't bro. cheat. No, but if, it also reminds me of L'Oreal's rap career too. No, no fun. Oh! <laughs> get him. Get him. No, no, get him. No, get him. No, not in this way. What but are like, you trying to say? I can rap. I know. I'm just saying in a way where you, 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 I feel like uh, you use it to uh, find a different. To find a uh, to, to Yo, find yeah, a yeah, no, I, yeah, I played yeah, football. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I did different things. No, you too. didn't. <laughs> All right, I was a porn star. The nigga tried to lie like he was somebody that looked like him. Talk about he played. That was me right there on the field. This me. Know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. My anything. dress was tucked in my jersey. That's why I guess I don't know anything. All right, good job. What we got? Yo. We got Savage News. You was very interested in his twerk, though. No, nah, no, nah, I was just wanted to play him out. That was hot. Okay. His twerk was hot. No, I'm just saying it was like yeah, it no. was fun. Like yeah, you know, my, fun. I mean, I it was fun. <sighs> who's on drugs? <laughs> yes, who's on drugs for real? Y'all would make a cute couple. Uh, so Alicia Keys and Meg The Stallion. Um, oh, you got a girlfriend? Sorry, so do you. I'm definitely in a relationship. Maybe if it doesn't work out later on. Nah. I think okay. Um, Meg The Stallion. And Alicia Keys are among the honorees of Billboard's annual Woman in Music celebration. That's dope for Meg Thee Stallion because you know she's she's uh, on the come up right now. She's hot out there Her in these streets. Oh, Alicia Keys. Her and That's Alicia dope. Keys. So it's Billboard's 14th Women in Music event. Um, so I like I like women voices, man. I like women um, gospel singers and stuff like that. Yes, it's dope. they're not gospel singers. Who? They're gonna be. You said you like gospel singers. Is What's that? Meg Thee Stallion? A rapper, motherfucker. I didn't know that. You know who Meg Thee Stallion? I never is. seen her before. I just heard. I thought she was a gospel singer. <laughs> Why the fuck would a gospel singer be named Meg Thee Stallion? <laughs> I don't know. What's wrong with that? This nigga, man, you're a clown. <laughs> I thought she was a gospel. I thought she was a gospel a person. Clown, bro. Whatever. Let's go. Okay, so congratulations to them. Congratulations. God bless um, you. <laughs> T. Diddy is so funny, this girl here. All right, so. We, um, got? we got something. All right, so we're going to. Oh, yeah, we got something, all right. Hot. So we're going to get into who's on drugs. Love it. Who's on drugs. Um, if you want to call and be a part of the show, be Let's our co-host and talk yes. some shit with us and and get some advice from us. Tell them where to call, Wax. Yes, call us at 347-679-6118. Hi, Lattice, man. All right. So today the topic is going to be would you be with somebody who has an uncurable STD? <laughs> Do you know what uncurable means, Wax? <laughs> um, Something that can't be pilled and delivered. It can't be cured. Is what it can't be pilled. Yeah, you can't put take pills and they go away. Uncurable, yeah. Can't it can't be cured at all. Okay. Yes. That's what yeah, it means. But basically you fucked. So would you be with somebody like what if I don't want to use this as an example. Talk to me. What if your girlfriend said, you know what, Ouch. Waxy Poo? Ouch. I just had to let you know that this whole time I had herpes. <sighs> I've never, I would never sleep with you when I have an outbreak. I would never do that to you. So you're safe. You're great. Happened to me before. 
Yes, it happened to me. Before. And what did you do? Um, I didn't like it at all. <laughs> I mean, um, no, is uh, I got told, um, came to my senses because the girl was bad. Um, I came to my senses and I was like, "There's no way I can do this at all." Be real, you thought about it. Uh, she's bad as hell. Um, we did. Y'all had sex already, so you yeah, might as well but, kept but, smashing. But no, we didn't. Um, we stopped because of it, and it was like, you know, had a little tension or whatever the case may be. And, like, that's how I know that if unless you have an outbreak or something, you didn't have it. I got tested. Um, so I, she told you after y'all had sex. Yeah, and then another girl found out because she, them, them, her and the other girl was on the fucking phone together. And she was like, yeah, I got herpes. And you better get checked out. So the other girl calling me and wowing the fuck out. But she's so corny for using her disease as, like, something to throw. Oh, you get what this, I'm but trying this, to this, say? But this is what girls do. do you know what I'm saying? So, that? but nah, but then, you know what I'm saying? I went to the doctors. Everything was good. The other girl got checked out. was like, oh, if I have something, it's going to be crazy. I'm like, Like, I'm going to murder you, her. And, and, and you, listen, you got respect. The preacher, the listen, porn star. And, and respect all day. Because it's like, yo, if I done did some bullshit, that's anybody. If I give you some shit. Cause guess what? I'm coming after you. I'm gonna, we gonna we gonna fight. That's not just that's not something that's cool. You know what I'm saying? That's not these like oh wash it off. And you knowingly you know, know that you have this nah, shit and you just out here do. being you try, motherfucking reckless. You being nasty like that with me, yo? It's kind of fucked up, yo. That's why I don't like that girl a little bit because the, I call her because that's some bullshit. The fuck she. What doing? if somebody didn't know they had it and they gave it to you? That's different. But how do you know they don't know? That's what I'm saying. Like, how would you trust them if they'd be like, I didn't know, I'm sorry. Come on, that's not no like no no like, like like no cough or no sneeze or something. You know what I'm saying? You know you got the little sniffles. You know you got it. You got you know you got something wrong with your meat. Nah, they say that sometimes men especially can't really there's no symptoms. And you know there's no way to tell when you <laughs> you caught an STD at all. Like, they can't be like, yeah, it was around March that you got gonorrhea. Like, so you don't know who the fuck you got that shit Especially from. Especially if you have, like... You fucking. Like, you fucking you more than one fucking. person. Yeah. That's Even why, if you fuck two faithful. people. Think about it, because you don't know how many people that one person's fucking. So, all right, yes. let's answer some calls. Let's see. Let's see what we got. What? Oh, oh T. Yeah, Diddy, somebody done tried to violate, uh -oh. and she killed them, and now she's going to confess. Go uh -oh. ahead. Go. <laughs> no. So, Excuse take me. Take that, take that. Oh, there damn. you go. There you she's go. So, so smart. She's smart. I see it. I see it. <laughs> so, I'm going to get drunk. So um, I actually know someone that, and she's not like a hoe or nothing, but her, the dude she was messing with, gave it to her. You Happiness. ain't got to be a hoe to catch an exactly. STD. No, but people yeah. will be thinking that, though. That's the problem. Yeah. So... Um, now, like, her dealing with it, like, she's scared to, like, tell people because she know, like, because <laughs> everybody initially going to think she a hoe. No, 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 I'm not out. even that. It's just because the, um, what's the word I want to say? Like, the, um, the what? Yeah, the negative that comes with herpes or stigma that comes with herpes, like no one wants to I'm do out. that. I'm out. Everybody, and that's a problem. Cause, and, and then not only that, you tell somebody like Wax, he's going to tell Bully and the Beast. And I'm out. And then he's going to give you the nickname of Herps. Herps. <laughs> Yeah, but I I feel bad though. Yeah, because like Yo, she man. didn't even do nothing. It was the nigga that yeah she but, picked the wrong nigga. But not even just Love. that though. Yeah, that's like picking the wrong apple on the fucking not tree. Even, but not even just that though, because she was telling me she was like, it's just like it's like having a pimple. Pimple is irritating. It's annoying that it's there, but it goes away. Like she, you know what I mean? No, for real though. If you think about it, because it's not it's not curable, but it's not like it's gonna kill you or whatever. I, I know, I know, like, like two on. girls with that shit, and they're just fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. Uh, you try to make like they're just fine. Are they, they telling people though? I don't ask them because I don't have sex with them. <laughs> <laughs> really? I don't. So I mean, it'd be different. I don't. To be honest, that wasn't be, even it, under it, my it, concern. It be real. When you, when you see them with guys, do you be like, ever in your mind, like, I wonder if he know. I wonder if she told him. No, I just feel like they would be smart or safe enough to protect themselves. Okay. If you had herpes, would you? I would, would I? I tell. Like, not honestly. Like, think about if you really had it. Would I, you? See, I think I would have to be like the nigga that just called. I had to be in your window. But because I'm going to have to stay with the nigga that gave that shit to me. We stuck. Yeah, 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 I'm stuck yeah, with you. Yeah, yeah. 
I mean, only because nobody else wants you, man. I, no, I don't want to walk around telling people like, "Hey," yeah, because yeah. you don't never know. Is that because of the negative? You can't or? trust motherfuckers. It's That's not even problem. just that. You can't trust motherfuckers. Yeah. Next thing you know, everybody running around. Yeah, running telling, telling cause, everybody. Because think about it. You ever fuck with somebody and think like, "Yo, I really, really like this person," yeah. and you might even be fucking with them for like a year, and mm-hmm. then after that, you something happens and you hate them, and y'all never speak again. <laughs> Now this nigga know your deep dark secret. Damn. And you that's why I don't like to tell people my business. Like but I tell people he, my business here. If he, listen, if he about to eat your pussy, I think you need to let them go. What if she don't got an outbreak? Yeah. I got cottage cheese every other month. Ew. That's what happened? I don't know. No, I think it's a bump. I don't think it's cottage cheese is yeast infection. Yeah, Listen, <laughs> having having uh, her Every S C D ain't cottage cheese, man. I don't know. That's what I was eating. And when I was when I was um, the thing is, <laughs> oh my nigga, yo, having herpes is like having a little meat. You don't want nobody to know. So that's why guys with little meat always oh whine and die. The dying. guys that take forever to fuck, they to want to fuck you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They want to whine, whine and die. You yeah. always to take. They True. Know how to but eat like them. it'll be so wow. weird because like you'll go out with them and then you'll sleep in the bed and they'll be over there and I'm like. The fuck, like, I why, why sure is he not I cuddled make up sure you, on me? I want to make sure you, you're comfortable. Tire. I want to make sure you're comfortable. Yeah, no, nigga, you I don't want to try. Nothing. I learned that because, yes, and I, you meat, know, man. it was like a light bulb above my head <laughs> one day with, with a situation. And I'm like, the only other time this happened before is when, and I was like, oh, he got a little dick. Because here's the thing: in my lifetime, that's not funny. No, in my lifetime, I've only come across one little tiny dick. <laughs> Like a little tiny dick, just one. So I was like, these bitches out here talking about little dicks too much. I must have found the second one right here because this nigga's not trying to fuck me. He wants to go to eat. He wants to tell me he missed me. He this, that, and the third. He's being nasty, but not being nasty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've never seen his dick. And I'm like, does he have herpes now that y'all got this going on? Or does he have a little dick? He got to have a little dick because I only have one little dick in my life. Two, boom, boom. No, but it had to be the eyes. What did you rather have, a little meat or herpes? They, 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 <laughs> these motherfuckers is right there. They almost neck to neck. Little dick. Ah. Little dick. Ah. Did he see Dr. Sabi? I don't know. Listen. Dr. Sabi cured herpes. Now, if you know Dr. Oh, Sabi. That's dope. Or his wife. Nice. Well, Dr. Sabi died. They so said, then, they uh, said uh, that's uh, what uh, left uh, eye went uh, to him for, uh, uh, child. No, they didn't. Uh, excuse, me. Uh, uh, excuse me. That's why. Excuse me. I said take that already. I don't think I quite heard I, it. I don't mean either. Yo. Maybe right. I got to adjust. Look, y'all got callers. All right. <laughs> uh, you can't say I didn't hear anything. We, we, oh, excuse me. I don't know. Huh? Pardon me. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Take that. Take that. Uh, y'all got callers. Oh, uh, okay. well, y'all. I thought you said. had a comment. I was yeah, interested, but okay. Who's on drugs? Who's on drugs? Who, 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 who's on drugs? Who's on drugs? Yo, 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 this is Nino. What's up, Wack Nino, Royale? What's, 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 what's it looking like? What Why does this sound like a voicemail? I was like, all right, what this nigga got to say? A voicemail? No, I don't even know what the hell was. Yo, it was good. L.A., West Side. It was good. Yes. It was good. Hey, listen, listen. Would you rather have herpes or a little meat? No, that's not the topic. That's hot. I'd rather have none, to yeah. be honest. <laughs> is that, is that you got to pick. Uh, you got to pick one of them, bro. Ah, uh, man, you know, probably a little meat because it's about the ocean <laughs> and the motion. <laughs> but if you ain't got no motion in your ocean. But you got like a stiff back. <laughs> and big Man, balls I, a little uh, dick and big balls yikes. I try to kill myself to be real like I don't know you know cause like if you have like a big dick and herpes and shit you're just giving out people herpes I have a guilty conscience and shit nah, I'd be fucked but, up <laughs> nah but the thing is if you, they say if you don't have an outbreak if you don't have an outbreak you alright but why are you not even thinking about a condom about telling a motherfucker he like you just out here giving bitches herpes nah like, that's so niggas did. like him that be hurting innocent young girls like your fucking friend that's fucked up bro <laughs> Nah, man, there was that one chick on the news that was giving people herpes and shit. I remember she was like giving mad motherfuckers herpes in New York and shit on purpose. Or they whatever. took it wow. on purpose. Up. Yikes! 
They took that purpose. bitch to jail. Yeah, yeah. Yikes. Hell yeah, they had to. I thought they were or whatever, but yeah. I, I mean, the question that. was, what was the question again? <laughs> What was the question again? Little meat or, or herpes? Big you like? herpes. Dick. No, 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 no. There was a question before that. There was a question before Thank that. Thank you. Wax tried like to. Act- yeah, it was basically would you stay with somebody? Stay with somebody that gave you an incurable disease, sexual transmission. Hell no. Can you? What are you at? Where Hell. are you, nigga? Nina, where you at, bro? Go in the I'm in Hollywood. Go in the bathroom. All right, I got you. Hold on. Yeah. The f- All right. Cool. Alright, my bad. Yeah, I'm in Hollywood. I'm in Hollywood. I mean, with the celebrities and the and the and the, and the, and the rich fancy people. Fuck, who is celebrity? Who is Polly Shore, nigga? Get the fuck out! I of bet here. you nobody would go. Who is it? Uh, uh Kanye West. <laughs> nigga, ain't no damn oh, Kanye there. Put him on the phone. Let me hear him. Jesus. Hey yo, <laughs> hey yo, hey yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> Let's get lost tonight. You can be my black Kate Moss tonight. Play sick and terror with the boss tonight. <laughs> Where the fuck did nah, you come with this shit? Do you know how many push-ups you did today? I bet you ain't do no push-ups talking like this. <laughs> nah, nah, I didn't. I didn't do any I push-ups. I can tell. If you had the push-ups, you would have changed your thought process already. You would not have said that just now. You know what's lax? I was actually going to get you a Christmas gift with Charlemagne or whatever, but now I don't know what to think of now. I'm going to give it to Taylor now. I'm gonna give it to... <laughs> I don't know what happened. Okay. Thank you. Guess no, what? Man. You know what you usually give me every year? Condoms. I don't need them anymore. I'm in a relationship, so you this keep This nigga right here on the phone gets you condoms? They just give me condoms every year. Nah. So how, <laughs> Bye. I'll, uh, I'll get you. <laughs> Come on, we gotta start being more savage with these hang up buttons. Yeah, she she's slipping today. Wax got his friends buying him condoms. I get my boys condoms all the time. What are you talking about? What's wrong with giving condoms? You receive a condom from me? I'm just saying, not now. You know you, he burned they burned girl, in together. <laughs> if you was cheating on your girl like a couple of weeks ago, would you need to take a condom for me? No. Okay. He doesn't cheat. What we got? We got somebody next. You see how quick that black man don't cheat slogan went away, right? As <laughs> soon as I got a girl. As soon as I got a girl, shit went away. <laughs> 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 Fucked up. I want to be in it. You can't say that shit no more. I that can't shit, say shit. That shit done. We got somebody on the phone? Yeah. It better not be one of your motherfucking friends again, because I'm going to just tell T. Diddy hang right the fuck up. Well, act like you don't know me then. <laughs> yeah. Yo, what's poppin'? It was good, fam. How, How long you know us? Wax? <laughs> the old <old-bullet>, nigga. <baby. laughs> Bye, yeah. nigga. <laughs> Thank God. Peace. Where you from? What's good? What's your name? Oh, man, I'm over here in Denver. Nigga, you are you eating the phone, though? <laughs> Can you just pull the phone back just a little bit? <laughs> Oh, fuck. My bad. That was actually good call quality. Yeah. Shit. That's what happens when you pay your bills. It's dope. Oh, he tried to, he tried to flex. Oh, yeah. No, but you do sound mad. No, nah, no. Nah. What, what, what's the topic, though? We can barely hear. Yo, the topic is you rather have a little meat or herpes. That's not the fucking topic. It's kind of, let's lead it with that, and then we can hit him with the other one. It's kind of the same. That's a hard one, man. Okay. Come on. Let's see what he got. All right. I mean, honestly, the nigga in me is saying, uh, I'd rather have a big dick and herpes. But, <laughs> like, the human, the human in me is saying the other way around. Because, come on, you can't just be spreading that shit. You know what I'm saying? Nah, but you got to understand, they saying that <laughs> if you don't have an outbreak, you all right. No, not that you could just uh, go around. Yeah, fuck fuck no, I don't know. You could you could still spread it when you not have an outbreak though. You can no. The chances are slim though. Yeah, uh-huh. the chances are mad slim though. But see, you over here telling me something. Yeah. Crazy. I don't know. The Lord fact. have mercy. I don't know. I'm I, I'm already having a little meat. So who knows? <laughs> you said you already got herpes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he said, fuck, nah, I, might, nah, but, uh, I might already have, I'm out here fucking yeah, tired. Was, was, was that really the topic? When's the last time you went to the doctor to get checked to see if you have something like herpes? Shit, so, that was a few months ago. I was good, though. Nigga He like, my girl went to... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 my girl got a checkup like in March. 
How, 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 how the nah, them, them niggas, no, nah, I went to a free clinic and them niggas told me I didn't have nothing. Hold on, listen, so listen. I, can't fuck I'm, I know the process because I had to go not that long ago. I would hope you know the process because you're listen, a grown ass man. How, what's, what's the process you go in? When you go in, what do you do first? Uh, you go in, you know, you, you write down your information on a little paper and shit. And then they call you back and they just ask you questions. Oh, no, no, they test you first. They draw blood. Uh, they have you piss in a cup, I think. Mm-hmm. And then we something else. And then, and then uh, you know, they just ask you questions about your sexual history and shit. They don't saying? never that's stick what they nothing do up first. Your, your, pen, your penis? No, that's, that's only if something you got. Nah. Something. But they sit you down, ask you about your whole everything, how many people you think you had sex with. All this crazy That doesn't ass get shit. them to know if you fucking burning or not. For are you telling them how many? They just want to know it's the type of history. So they, so well, not they, they. They ask you if you've been fucking like how many people you fucked in a mm-hmm. certain amount of time. You, you see what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. if you say like, oh yeah, I fucked eighty bitches in the last month, then they're gonna be like, damn. Yeah, they, got they, they, they took an X-ray. Gotta wait for the test results. Did they take they took a, they took an X-rays and all that? So they only take the results. I mean, the test if you tell them you fucked eighty bitches. <laughs> No, 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 maybe, no, no. Maybe, <laughs> listen. I, no, they do all that, and then, you, and then you wait three days for some more shit to come back. Yeah, exactly. Listen, and how many times they ask you, um, do you want to take an HIV test? You should say uh, yes to the first I thought it was just part of it. When I did it, they just automatically did it. Yeah, so, yeah, they automatically did it. But that was a few months ago. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm due to get tested again, so I need to figure that out. So how, since yeah. the last time you've been tested, I ain't how many girls like you They don't draw blood or anything? Y'all just pee in a cup? It all depends on... Yeah, yeah, they know. draw blood for me. Yeah. And you gotta wait for that shit to come back. Yeah, that's exactly how they do it. But listen, bro, how many, girl, how many girls did you fuck? Penis. How many girls did you fuck since, since you got then? tracked? Uh, let me, let, me, let me think. If I had to guess somewhere around five or so, so not, not you know... I'm saying, what, what, what's a testable thing? Like, it's like, how many girls do you have to fuck before you gotta get tested again? I think about fifty girls. No. Uh, well, sir, the thing is, if no. you're polyamorous, you should get tested regularly, like every every three months. You know what I'm saying? But if you only fucking one person, you, you probably good. Yeah. You should still maybe get checked, like maybe once or twice a year if you just fucking one person, just in case they might get you something. But then, listen, you gotta understand that if you only fucking one person. Y'all have to be fucking about four people a year. So that means if you're not fucking, she fucking other three. You know that, right? Yeah, like yeah you, exactly. All these That's guys out here so talking about... you still got to get tested at least once. Yeah, you got at least twice a year for a guy. And let the girl get tested to her yeah, something like six that. Six times every time. Every After she have her period, she go ahead and get tested every time, I heard. Yeah. They, they but I don't know. Nigga like you, Wax... You sound like you get a lot of pussy, so I would recommend no, you get no tested more, not like no more, not no more. often. No, I don't get no more. Girls do not no more. get tested after every time they get their period. That's what I heard. They said they get Shut yeast up. infections and stuff like that. No, you don't. Oh. Well, you got to take the bath. And, uh, you, no, I'm trying to learn something. I ain't got a pussy. Nah, but listen, they, they take baths with alcohol and Epsom salt. Who does that? Yeah, I heard that knock shit out. <laughs> yeah, you, got, you never heard it. That's, that, that's how you take that. That probably kill. That probably kill age right there. All right, what about the <laughs> vinegar thing? What about the vinegar thing on a pussy? Yo, this is the kind of bitches wax is fucking with. I, I, I hope your really girlfriend really. ain't hey, doing that. Hey, yeah, I got a question for you. What's yeah. that? So what, what's like a bomb ass sex move that a dude has done to you in bed that just gets you every time? Put his head and face in my fucking pussy. That's it. <laughs> so what, oh, you, you, a, you, a, you, a, you a girl that loves her some head, huh? Okay. Yeah, and um, he can eat my ass and eat my pussy. Good night. <laughs> 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 Who's on drugs? Yeah. Oh, my goodness, man. Like, what the fuck is going on? Who's good with you, you man? Bro? Man, man, look at here, man. Like, listen, I'm going to answer that first question. Like, <laughs> if, if a bitch... If she give me something, yeah, we fucking like forever. I ain't letting that bitch go because who else I'm gonna fuck? Like, we getting in. (laughs) (laughs) Bitch, we we getting getting married. All that. All that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna fuck somebody else. I can't just pass this shit on. So, you you getting married? All that shit. Like, we can't even have kids. Wait, are you on a speakerphone? I got my Bluetooth there. Do I need to cut it off? Yeah. Yeah, because our, our equipment ain't working with I, yours. I got you, got you, got you. My brother. 
Ah, right, let me cut. Let me cut that. Cut that shit off. Let me cut that shit off. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But yeah, like on some real shit, man. Like. I ain't no, I ain't no way in the world a motherfucker gonna give me something and tell me you free. Like, nigga, you my slave for life. Like, we gonna do this shit. Like, fuck that shit, man. I can't fuck nobody else. And you can't have kids with nobody else because you can't fucking have herpes and have kids. The kids would be something wrong with them, right? No. Oh, I thought the kids would be blind. The kids would be blind. Blind. I heard blind. I heard blind. Word is born. I heard blind. Word is born. They'll be blind. They'll heard. be blind, retarded, and, and got shit. They got shit. They got acne real bad. They're blind, yo. Where they born? That's that, that shit fucked up. They'll, they'll be one years old with puberty. Yeah, yeah. that shit real, y'all. You can't have that shit. Old. You can't no more. One year old with puberty, yo. Goodbye. Herpy kid. We can't do that shit, man. You can't do that shit, yo. Like, for real, for real. So, yeah, it ain't cool. So, if, if it's like, if it's like, if, if I had to, in any life, if I had to choose between a little wanker. Or have a big dick with herpes. I ain't gonna lie, man. At first I was like, man, I can't spread that shit around. But I was like, you know what? Fuck that shit. Maybe I can just be a porn star and the bitch just jack me off. I'm about to have a big wank. Like, <laughs> you know, or, big or, dick or with or herpes. Fuck it, you know what I'm saying? Get just get ahead. Just get ahead. Just get ahead. Like, or like what I say, just wait till you wait till you ain't outbreaking and shit like that, and just say, hey, fuck it. I'm, I'm gonna put a condom on and fuck the bitch and shit like that. Or I go to a a herpes anonymous type meeting and meet bitches with herpes with and herpes. we just fuck together and like we good now. Oh my exactly. god, there's these these. Like, fuck it. This is the fucking funniest shit. You're what crazy. You no, he is. Uh, that, no, that's the that's the real shit. That's the real really shit. Like anonymous. No, that's what you got to. You know what? You know what? You know what, bro? I got a guy uh, earlier who who created his own app. I think somebody should whoever got herpes create a herpes app and all the girls that were herpes. Y'all can really fuck each other. It's really okay. And you know if you go on that app, it's automatically fucking. Facts. It's automatically fucking. Facts. You can, you can suck my dick and ain't have to worry about your mouth bumping up or Ooh. nothing because it's already bumped the fuck up it's anyway. Like, let's do it. Let's do it. This is so So, good. so now, listen. how would you tell a girl that you have herpes? Or would you tell her? How would I tell her? How would I tell a girl I got herpes? Like, oh, like, hold on, she don't know I got herpes, and I'm out on my outbreak, and like you got, yeah, she don't know I got herpes. Right? Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, I might not even tell her. I might just put the condom on like that. Fuck it, like, let's tell. go. Ouch. Where you from? Boy, you from? Like, how you? How you? Get, if, 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 listen, if you tell a girl you got herpes, you ain't getting no pussy. You ain't getting yeah. no pussy. If you trying to get that pussy, you, you, you better shut your fucking I mouth. Definitely oh. would be like, uh, ah, no. <laughs> Yeah, bro. Listen, we got we got them, we got them like, sex nah. dolls. We got them sex dolls too. You know what I'm saying? So I I rather have a big meat and fuck the sex doll before I have a little ass meat and can't really get right because you don't really care. Y'all about motherfuckers life. is you wrong as hell. Right. I was sat here and googled this shit till I found it. What? Most women with genital herpes give birth to healthy babies. Yeah. They supposed to say that. It's a Google. <laughs> let's, let's do it then. If, if, if we give them birth to healthy babies, let's fucking do it. Let's, let's, hey, let's fucking go. But let's it, go. It, it, does I'm ready. Say, just... it does say if the woman has an excessive outbreak. Give me the big dick. Hold on. It says <laughs> if she has an excessive outbreak during delivery, that it can spread to the infant. Yes, man. You don't want that. So you can give your baby herpes. Yes. yes. She got a vaginal discharge. She got, she got a vaginal discharge. We don't want that. We don't want but that green, does, oozy, yellow stuff leaking out. We don't want that. No. But it does say that um, majority of the babies come out healthy, and you can also get a C-section. Yeah, I get it, but come on. So they don't come out blind and retarded because that's what the I, fuck I y'all never, said. I never said retarded. <laughs> Man, so people, that guy is sitting here like, I got to leave her now because now my child is going to be blind and retarded. No, he got it too, so he's fucked too. <laughs> Oh my God, that was straight vodka. I'm I didn't realize. Oh yeah, I'm used to. I, ah, listen, I was like, I'm used to grabbing on my meat, so I can't go backwards now. I'm used to grabbing on meat, I can't go backwards. I can't handle a little dick. Fuck that ah, shit. Man. I can't handle a little dick now. I'm used to grabbing on my own meat already. So if I can, if I can get bigger, good. But I ain't going backwards. Fuck ah, that shit. Man. I can't go no small meat just because I don't want to have herpes. Right, like, fuck brother. that shit, man. So listen. Like, listen, listen. So you said big meat herpes. Man, big meat herpes, and if that bitch give me something, I'm fucking her and her mama and her sisters and everybody. We gonna we gonna be a unit. We gonna be a family with this shit. Fuck you that. You giving man. everybody herpes. Everybody get the herpes. Uh. You going to jail? <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, she gave. Hey man, I hate to say, I, I, hey Wax, I hate. Hey, hey, Wax, I hate to say it, man, but that's that like Carolina shit. Now I'm down here in Charlotte, man. That's that like oh, yeah, Carolina yeah, shit, yeah. man. Yo, you okay, fuck? I'm bye, bye. 
All right, no, brother. don't give a fuck at all. You know what I'm saying? Straight Colombian. Bless. All right. So y'all just nasty. Niggas is nasty. You see a one woman. Well, girls are nasty too. Queen. They don't want listen, I'm gonna tell you this right now. If a man just can't get the herpes, a woman has to give it to him. Wax, men are the carrier usually of no everything. Way. Listen, y'all carry bacteria. Where he get it from? Wax, get it listen from? to me. Where he get it from? Y'all carry bacteria, y'all fuck woman after woman, y'all give out yeast infections. Back bacterial we, vaginosis. We got y'all give get, out herpes. Y'all give this? out. Hold on, I'm not done. Okay. Y'all give, and 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 please make sure you you um let somebody listen to this before you let this play. <laughs> but y'all are the ones that carry HIV and all that stuff when y'all be undercover brothers and then uh, go and fuck a woman. In Jesus. And name. then y'all give it to the women and You're y'all right. fucking all the we women. Not, we, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, so it's men. That carry the motherfucking diseases. We ain't talking about. We ain't talking about the other stuff. We talking about the other stuff. It be women. Let me tell you something. It be women and the woman that I know. The one, one of them that told me about her situation. She was faithful as a motherfucker to that we nigga. We praying for her. She did not have no fucking nothing before him. We praying for and her. she only had probably like three partners in her life. Three boyfriends and three long ass relationships. And she got with that nigga, and he was fucking everybody. And she got herpes now. Lord. And it's because of him. So y'all are the y'all the nasty. Every story I've ever heard still, is always y'all nasty ass. Listen, the man meat is like a a spoon. He ain't gonna have nothing on his motherfucking spoon if he don't put his, his fucking dick in a jar. Do what's in that jar is what if that that jar is pure. His meat could go in that jar a million times, and he's nothing's gonna come out of it on that man on his meat. He'll be okay. But till he put his meat in one bad jar. That one bad jar came, affects everybody. It came from the nigga that was fucking his homeboy. Lord, we ain't talking about AIDS. We talking about something else. Oh, herpes. Okay. Yeah. And same thing. They carry the A man could disease. give another man herpes? Yes. We just saw the the butt picture. Oh, that's from, I thought, oh, whoa. What you think I was asking for? And not only that, it's on the mouth. You could get it on your mouth. And they use, yo, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I went and got uh, my eyebrows done. The lady in the um in the thing gonna say, could you? She was getting her chin waxed, and she was like, "Just be <laughs> careful because I have a cold sore, and I don't. I want to make sure that you it, you you don't touch it." And I was like, "You nasty bitch! Why you came in here to get your chin with a, with a cold sore?" Exactly. With a cold, you know she was white. And where is these tools going? Y'all reusing these tools? No, it's threading. So threading is usually um just string like the from. And you throw it away. So you string your... It's cheap. Your, like, you don't you reuse the string. You use it, it pops. You don't know what threading oh, is? Oh, oh like, like you floss. You take the two string. Yeah, so it's two long string. Mm-hmm. It's a, a whole... What do you call those things? Roll. Like a roll, but it's like cost and nose. So you, they just make it long, and then they thread, and they throw it out. So it's not... Good. She, that part, okay. But that's why I don't use pla- um, um, utensils, silverware, and no nowhere. I don't do any, I'm well, if plastic. they don't have a uh, commercial grade dishwasher that kills the germs, they would have been shut down. I understand that, but still plastic. I get what you're saying, yeah, but it would have been shut down if it wasn't for that. I get it. But okay, Bully and the Beast podcast. That's us. Thank y'all for listening. All that good Make shit. sure you rate, review, subscribe. Mm-hmm. Yep. Tell a friend to tell a friend. All that. Tune the fuck in again. Let's do it. Um, I like that. We're definitely the best podcast. For sure. We just need to get more people to know about us because yes. we're too lazy to promote it ourselves. Somebody should do a sex tape. Wax. Nope. And the guy with the herpes. Nope. Bye. Peace. E 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 peace.